So what y'all think about uh Ryan Garcia, you know, supposed to be fighting Javante Chang Davis. Uh, they send on the sports book. They got uh, the odds on there. You know, you could bet. You don't make a bet. Uh, Tank say he come back in December. You know, Ryan Garcia going back and forth. That's usually how it go. You know what I'm saying? When you in talks, close talks, you know, big talks, you know, the fighters kind of got the heads up what's going on. So they kind of like, you know, call each other out and say little things and see how, see if it take win. You know what I'm saying? See if it like catch up. You know, um, I think it'd be a great, I think it'd be a great fight. You know, I think it'd be a mega, mega fight. You know, Javante Davis is a, is a, is a superstar. You know, he's a pay per view star. You know, he's like holding it down for pay per view right now for the young dudes, up and coming dudes. You know what I'm saying? Outside like, outside of like Canelo and you know I'm saying? The, the big guys and Joshua, stuff like that. But, you know, he's a superstar, you know, and I don't, that, I don't think that's going to last that long until he actually fights somebody. You know, I think, you know, that, that, that'll that like die down a little bit. Now, Ryan Garcia is a somebody, you know what I'm saying? He got a major fan base, you know what I'm saying? Network behind him, big promoter, you know, good looking kid, undefeated. And um, I think it's I think it's a major fight, you know what I'm saying? You got the Mayweather protege, you know, Mayweather promotions and Tank Davis. And then you got the Oscar De La Hoya protege uh, and Ryan Garcia, you know what I'm saying? Oscar De La Hoya and uh, Golden Boy Promotions. You know, and uh, and it just happens to be, you know, a Mexican with a Mexican protege and a black brother, you know what I'm saying, with a black protege. So kind of like it all lines up. And regardless of what anybody thinks about race and all that shit, different races, you know what I'm saying, sell fights, you know what I'm saying, rather than, you know, a black on black, you know, guy or a Mexican versus a Mexican, you know what I'm saying, or a white versus a white, you know. The two races always sells, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that, you know, it's no racist shit going on. It's just that that's just, it's just always like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, because certain cultures and certain races support their own, you know what I'm saying? Not only support their own, they want, you know, their race and their culture, you know what I'm saying, to win. So some just a little bit can feel like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, we beat y'all, or you know what I'm saying, or we better than y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we got the best right now, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it be, you know what I'm saying? Not like no evil, you know what I'm saying? Like, jealousy racist type shit but you know people just like support their own and they like to see their people be on top you know what i'm saying so that stuff always sells um as far as the fight go man it's a hell of a fight you know what i'm saying tank got hands of dynamite you know what i'm saying and ryan garcia you know he has a super skill set and um uh, just analyzing their fights man i think it's a 50 50 fight bro i'm gonna call it spade a spade you know what i'm saying I, it's just 50 50 to me just based on, I've seen flaws in both of them, you know what I'm saying? When you see flaws in both of them, you know, anything can happen, you know what I'm saying? Then we see flaws in both of them. I also see skills in both of them, you know what I'm saying? High potential. So I don't want to pick one and then say, well, see, I, so I said it was a 50-50 fight, you know what I'm saying? I want to pick this guy and then he lose. And then I say, see, I knew it was 50-50. So yeah, it's 50-50 for me. Uh, it's great for boxing. It's great for the, you know, the youth, you know what I'm saying? The younger, the future of boxing. And, uh, Whoever win this fight, if it happens, man, they get to hold the crown, man. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a whole nother video. At, depending on what weight class, Devin Haney got the belts. So, yeah. But for superstardom, mega fight. I say it's 50 50. I say it go the distance. And I say whoever win the decision, <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a mad. They're going to be mad because somebody going to kind of like, win on the actual boxing scorecards and then someone's gonna win for the fans and i think that the boxing scorecards is actually what's gonna do it and i think that the fans is gonna say man that was a robbery he should have won so y'all let me know what y'all think